Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We're playing as the Western Protectorate. Actually, the Tang Empire under the stupid China, because, you know, they've... Too difficult to deal with. Anyway, uh, we are trying to get some stuff here. We are also trying to shatter the Byzantines. Where are the... Uh... What happened to all of your troops? Did you seriously take that much in attrition already? Oh, no, no. Okay. Some of you are already over here. Alright, that's fine. Alright, let's get back into it. We're trying to shatter the Byzantines. Uh, I know. I think that there was a... They put down one revolt and then a new revolt spawned, so I, that's why my, I lost those troops. So I've raised up new ones. Child lacks an education focus. Um, I guess we'll go with diplomacy. Alright. Pop in over here. Okay, you are, uh, surrendering. I accept your surrender. Thank you. And I don't think I actually need you guys anymore. Okay, so we've got, uh, that, and that, and that. This is pretty good land over here. Okay. So, uh, before I find characters, I believe... Let's just pass a day. I had a guy here. You... Yeah, you still have your fountain. You're pretty good. Uh, what is the... Is your capital? Okay, you can have, uh, Kandana. There you go. Okay, anyone else that I'm looking at? Uh, you are Katan, you're 12, I missed you, alright. Karluk, 14, I missed you, unfortunately. I haven't been paying that much attention. You are... I don't need to watch you anymore. That county has converted, though. And Tekka, you're Ashkenazi. There's not much I can do about you. Now, one thing that I could end up doing is, like, trying to um, marry off a bunch of... Uh, those mayors and then educate their kids, but it's kind of a long-term process and it doesn't always work because they don't always want to marry just random people. Okay, so we got an armorsmith, we got a goldsmith, we've got a guy who is ugly, but it, there's no does not want to marry kind of thing. Will not marry, so uh, Jing, you can have uh, Nasakya. Sounds almost Russian. You're a goldsmith. You're a goldsmith. You are... Not a thing. So, you can have Nunder... Nunderbar. There you go. You guys always throw me off. You should probably have kids. Just a suggestion. Alright, so this is the guy who will not marry. Kui. 
All right, so we do have some more good choices coming up if we take some more. What event is spawning these guys? If anyone knows, please tell me. Because this is, this is too specific. There is an event that spawns these guys at about age 28. It's kind of weird. Look at all those de jure ducal claims I can press that I'm totally never going to press. Uh, what else? Uh, okay, there is a kingdom title that I can grab. Maharashtra. Let's go ahead and create that. It's quite a bit there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Troops are doing fine over here. We are at 57%. Western Protector, it hasn't really even gotten any in, although it looks like you're gonna... you may actually get get a chance to do something here. Well, I will be honest, I was kind of expecting Temujin to spawn first as a thing on going against China, because that's kind of what I remembered happening in history, and that they attacked China and then turned to go west. But word has reached us that the ambitious Khan from beyond the Great Mountains has set out to unite the clans of the Great Steppe. It is also said by men who read the stars that this Khan is destined, destined to become ruler of the world. That should be nothing to worry about. So how many troops do you spawn with on my face? A lot. A lot. Okay. Okay. 16,000, alright. It's a thing. It's a thing. You want up that way? All right. Let's just get rid of you then. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and uh, raise Chinese regiment. Raise Chinese honor guard. All right, so they are going to quickly siege down this. So they may group up together and come and attack. Um, let's go ahead and raise up uh, everyone else here. Alright. You, I need you to come up here as well. Alright, a lot of these guys are not going to be able to do a whole lot with. Um, let's see. Kashmir, uh, let's actually actually raise you out of here. Bring you up. Transoxiana, um, I have already raised you. Okay, fair enough. Persia, 
can raise you up out of here. Get you up as well. Alright, well, the Mongols were going to come at some point. I should have uh, reset my... thing, unfortunately. Uh, I don't need you. I, I honestly, I really, really genuinely was expecting to get some sort of a uh, warning uh, from them attacking um, China first. So I thought that's how it went historically. Alright, you're probably never gonna get over here in time, but uh, let's get you moving. I will probably release and re-raise all those guys that uh, um, were up uh, already. Uh, I'm going to leave my retinues over here because I don't think there's actually all that much that they can do. And it's going to take them so long. I don't think I'm going to get any... Um Vassal levy, you know, vassal opinion penalties for raising these guys at the moment because I am defending against uh, uh, unbelievers. And for good measure, oh, you son of a jerks! All right, what is the? 43k. I'm going to need to be a little bit careful about uh, this. Go here. You guys go here. So they're moving up there, so that's good. And then I can raise my troops out of here. Um, but for good measure... Let's hire them. Oh, wow. That is actually unfortunate. All right. Go in there. Did not realize that they were going to come in with... Uh, that I was going to get attrition. Please get out of there in time. Oh, I took some attrition. Still moving. You are going down... I'm not sure exactly where you're going, but... You are taking attrition there, at least. Not a whole lot. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. You want to marry her? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you've just decided to go there. I don't know exactly why, but... Okay with that. Ah, stupid... Crappy... Okay. Alright, you've taken that. That's fine. Looks like you're going to try and attack someone somewhere. It's fine. We're at 63% there. Uh, let's see. 28k. Let's actually bring you in here. Let's bring you in here. You are getting a bit of attrition, so you come in here as well. So they're going to siege down that stuff. That is... Oof. Yeah, they're going to siege that down pretty quick. Which is going to cost me a lot, but I'm hoping that I can get a, a big uh, battle going.
Okay. So right here, I have 84,000. In we go. Let's try and stomp them. Just keep piling on in. I am going to end up taking a lot of attrition for this. Uh, you are going to uh, there. All right. They only have one uh, flank, so we're getting a lot of flanking. There they go, retreating. News from China. The status quo in China is over. God must be displeased with the Dragon Throne, for a great Mongol horde has managed to cross the mighty fortifications of northern China, intent on disrupting the harmony and prosperity of the Divine Land. Emperor Zhang Yuan Chongzong is mustering his armies in Guangzhou for a swift response, but he could be in for a long war. Tributary states can use this opportunity to break free, and neither will China be able to aid them. Most inauspicious. Well, I mean, sort of. Actually, kind of good for me. Stop paying tribute. Yes, I do want to do that, but uh, not just yet. Yes, come in. Come in. Join in to the slaughter. Okay, well, we've got a lot here. Uh, let's get 80,000. Let's go. I'm going to take a lot of attrition, but if I can just stomp them and keep winning war, winning battles, uh, we may succeed. Luckily, they can't pull out of this war. They're, they're kind of stuck here. It would be amusing if this was why they lose to the Mongols, but... I don't want to pull out until the, uh, the war with the Byzantines is done, though. on, and I don't think that they can get any of these guys in to reinforce quickly enough. Of course, I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, I just suffered like 20,000 attrition there. My cause is righteous. Please accept my offer to join you in the Mongol invasion of Mongolia. You're orthodox. I had no idea. Sure, come on in. Maybe the Byzantines will <laughs> join in after this. I don't think so, but... This is, uh, this is some incredible attrition. Get in there! Oh, God! That was, that was a lot. Chinese war to shatter the realm of Basilius Trifon, the Cleansing Flame. Protector General Yang Chege, the Western Protectorate, won. News from China. After the defeat of Basilius Trifon at the hands of Protector General Yang Chege, the Byzantine Empire has been dismantled. The vassals relieved as they are now free from the grasps of the Basilius. Further in the east, it is reported that Zhang Yuan Puguji, Emperor Chongzong of the Zhou Empire, is very pleased with the with this with this as outcome, as once again, Zhou has displayed the might of the dragon. They were no match for the Zhou Empire. Okay, now, uh, so, no more Byzantines. That means that we can, uh, we can eat them all up, uh, as we wish. But, uh, most importantly, I need to get you guys out of the land so that I can, uh, Start moving, you guys. So I can release and re-raise you. But yeah, this is this is really that that really hurt that all that attrition. I'm gonna have to split up and because they're not they're not taking the attrition that I am. 
and they are taking all of these uh, holdings. All right, what do we got? Seven point. Oh, it's winter. Crap. All right, stay where you are. Get in there. What is the attrition here? Twelve. What is the attrition down here? Thirteen. Oh, God. I gotta get back into my territory. That's twenty. I mean, they're gonna regroup. That's part of the problem. They're gonna they're gonna hold all of that stuff. Nope, oh, there goes some attrition. Get out of there. Okay, actually let's go in there. Ah, uh, you have cancer and you're depressed. I can see why you'd be depressed. Ah, two of my flanks have already fallen. That's... There's... Temujin. Alright. Get out of there. We created the Duchy of Dahala. I'm going to have to deal with them as well, though. All right. Have you guys uh, gotten out? Yes, you have. All right. So, who have I... Okay, so Egypt and uh, Egyptian Revolt. Um, all right, well... Raise you up here. Raise you up here. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Put a new one here. Okay. So those guys are coming up. It's going to be a little while. I'm bringing up Persia. Abyssinia. Get you. Uh, Transoxiana, I can get you right over here, so that's good. Who else? Uh, I don't think that I... Well, I could have raised up Iraq here, but I can't. Okay, you'll come up slowly. Any others? Let's raise up a few more. I have lost a lot of my personal levies as well. I have some prisoners. I can ransom some of you for a little bit of cash. That helps. Um, I've got those three... Yeah, they're already down to uh, 5,500. Um, I've already spent a lot of money here, and I cannot get the Holy Order. That is not enough. Can you get in? Probably not. Okay, no. Get out. Get out. Go here. I 
negative 37. You got 33,000 up there. I mean, I got more more troops uh, filtering in, but uh, geez, this is this is bad. All right, what is our supply limit here? 28k. You're going in there. Supply limit there is uh, 18, so let's go ahead over here. Nope. They're going to attack, so let's try and dissuade them. Hey, my wife is pregnant. Excellent. Uh, now, I think that this is a good time to stop paying tribute, though. I will lose 500 grace. Is there anything that I can get with this grace? Let's request a strategist. Okay, you are a strategist. Way of the Leopard, brilliant strategist. Thank you. Ransom off some more people. Stop paying tribute. They do not scare us. Because you're being invaded by the Mongols. It's a thing. I could send a commander, but I'm not going to. Except paying a safe return. Found the most fascinating phenomenon studying the stars. I'm a little bit busy right now, honey. Battle of Tunis. What the... You sons of... You filthy opportunists. Don't go through there. Okay, they've decided not to do that. Good. Right there. All right, let's get some new uh, new people. Uh, it's not winter anymore, but it is about time to uh, end the episode. Um, don't have that many uh, horses, but you go ahead and get there. Heavy infantry. And we've got a lot of light foot over here. Uh, I thought I clicked on... Oh, right, no. You get there. I clicked on the wrong person. There we go. In we go. Son, you're definitely getting a martial education. Now the problem is is that they have overwhelmingly special troops and heavy cavalry, which are really good troops. In fact, you know what, let's go ahead and wait until we get more people ready to go. Uh, that will be next time, however. We'll take a break here, we'll see if we can defeat the Mongol hordes. See you next time, everyone.